known as a colorist. You'll mm -hmm. see my colors are very intense and I love color. Um, actually, as far as selling my art, I'm starting to get known in the Knoxville area for mm -hmm. rain paintings. They're actually okay. made by nature. Cool. I, it was, uh, I am very, uh, the process of creating, I'm mm -hmm. good at, I'm really good at that and experimenting with techniques, different yeah. techniques. So um, that was an experiment for me and I thought, you know, we were doing the spraying mm -hmm. and I thought, well, I'm going to try rain. So I put wet paint on the paper and then I put it uh, out in the rain and I watch it like baking. There's literally a time where you watch the design emerge, depending mm -hmm. on how fast and hard the mm -hmm. rain is coming down and there's a time when the design is just perfect yeah. and the trick is pulling it at that point because I can wait two seconds too long and it's washed away. Oh, yeah. That's something I'm starting to get known for. However, we're painting traditionally with a brush in this class today. Ask, what <laughs> yeah. is this class based I, on? I can, I can look at anything and paint it if yeah. I can see it and I work from photography. I like to paint on sight. I paint whenever I can so and I'll talk a little bit about um, how I got into it which yeah. was in college a long so time ago. Are we're going to paint a tree today. Okay. We're going to paint a tree on a note card. Okay, so cool. it should Is be the something. Tree, like any special tree to you? No, it's, ki it's kind of a. This is going to be a little bit of ab. Not abstract, it will look like a tree, okay? <laughs> but it's the whole point of the tree is so that I can show four or five mm -hmm. different techniques, how to create yeah. a, different ways to create leaves. Right. And yeah. so each person will create something that looks a little bit different, but it'll still be a tree. 